Okay, 2022 Grom ABS. Uh, this is in Australia. Um, I did mean to do an update on some of the mods I've made already. Um, I've gone with the KLX bars, bar end mirrors, pro grip grips, um, folding levers, giving the wheels a coat of paint, taking the yellow grommets on the body panels and giving them the same matching coat of paint. Um, we've got with the, the Krieger US5 tail pack, um, gone with the Mustang style rear light, um, obviously custom rear plate, just color coded to match the bike. Um, and that's it really for, oh, and the Chimera, I've got a Chimera intake for it. Um, I'm waiting for um, a ECU from uh, Cameron at CJR Performance so that I can get it remapped um, to compensate for it running a bit lean now. Um, mini front indicators. Um, and um, I changed the front sprocket to a 14 tooth from a 15 tooth. Uh, so that seems to be what everybody's doing. I may or may not leave it like that, but of course, even standard, the Speedo is incorrect. So what I'm gonna fit now is the Heeltech Speedo Healer V4. Um, it's the Speedo Healer V4. And for the 2022 Grom ABS, you need the Harness SH-08. Um, now I ordered this from Mototech here in uh, Melbourne, in Victoria, Australia. Um, but on the listing, the Speedo, the Speedo Healer listing, there's a Grom ABS, um, which gives you the right year, 2022. But there's also um, an MSX125 ABS, uh, and it lists all years, but that lists the wrong harness. So make sure you choose Grom ABS, not MSX125 ABS. Um, all right, okay, let's throw this on. Um, it's super, super easy. Um, one plug and a little bit of Velcro and then we've got to mess around and set it up. I already know that I've got to set it up at 18.9% minus. Um, but that's all covered in the online tutorial that uh, Heeltech provide. So let's move inside and uh, show you how we install this. All right, I hope this is going to uh, hope this is going to work with my GoPro. Um, all right, it's just easier to put down while I'm working on the bike. Um, rather than my phone, which is a bit awkward. Um, you are just gonna need one tool for this job, and that is a five mil Allen key. Um, I've got the harness, SHH08. I've got the Speedo Heela V4. Um, and literally to fit this, all you need to do is remove the seat and remove these three bolts from the side panel. Uh, and that will expose the cable that you need to uh, splice into. So um, I'll just pop the GoPro down and start on the drill. So if I put that there, first thing I'll do is remove the seat. As you'll probably be aware if you own a GoPro Grom, the key goes in, the seat comes off. Um, you're going to want to seat the Speedo healer, it says to seat it two centimeters away from any other electronic device. So I'm going to pop it in this little space here. Um, but first things first, let's get it wired in. Okay. Remove these three By the way, if you're a motorsports fan, you will remember Marco Simoncelli and Nicky Hayden, God rest their souls. Um, great loss to the motorsport community and MotoGP. Um, and I miss seeing those guys racing, I really do. They were both amazing riders. Um, okay, so, We've got the side panel taken off. So that to one side. Um, now, this is the ECU of the bike. I shall be changing that soon for the updated one from CJR Performance. Um, this cable here behind the ECU is the one that you need to splice into for the Speedo Healer. Um, it has a pink, a green, 
uh, and a white and green wire um, and the harness here just simply plugs into it so um, if you're in any doubt all you need to do is undo this once it's undone um, lift the rear wheel off the floor turn on the ignition spin the rear wheel and you'll get a zero reading on your speedo um, and that will confirm that you've taken apart the right cable okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna thread in from the top the loom for the speedo healer um, and I'll bring it down to here and I'll splice it in all right so let's just pop that back there you can see what I'm doing I hope that's clear enough sorry if it's a little bit far away in fact maybe that will help a bit just gonna unpack the loom um, and you have you have these two plugs which splice into this socket here um, and you have this plug here which plugs into the main speedo healer I'll show you that in a second um, really really straightforward all right let's see what we can do um, there's no <laughs> there's absolutely no challenge with uh, routing the cables on this bike really not at all um, you just want to make sure that you're not going to rub against anything hot um, I don't know if you can see down there, but I'm going to come through. You see my finger in there? I'm going to come through here and I'm going to come up. Um, there's a cable here that I'll cable tie it to that goes through and along and here to where the speedo healer will be. Um, so let me just uh, let me just do that for a second and um, I'll come back to you once I've run the cable to here. Okay, so now I've got the cable run. Um, I've put the little Velcro tab in here. Uh, cable runs down here, it runs down past the existing loom through here. Um, and we've got the two plugs that we need to splice into the main plug. Um, so um, I'm just gonna split the plug and uh, I'll do that. Uh, I did say you'd only need a five mil Allen key. The reality is you might need a screwdriver as well to split these plugs. Um, you press this button here, if you can see, uh, and it should just split apart. If it doesn't, just prise a screwdriver in there and give it a little twist and it'll, uh, it'll pop those apart for you. Um, so these are obviously the correct plugs uh, from the loom provided by Speedo Healer. So now all you do is you plug the appropriate one into uh, the existing loom um, and again I'm just going to pop the camera down while I do this and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So that one goes into there. It's really great that they offer the <coughs> OEM plugs and um, rather that one goes into there. Even the colours of the, the cables are the same. And that one goes into it's a bit tight because I've already routed the cable through. Um, and there you go, that's it. So that's fitted. The next step is to install the actual healer, uh, plug it in. Um, and then we will program it. Now, uh, apparently, I'm gonna read the instructions in a minute and I'll come back to you. Um, we'll get a reading on the dash when I turn the key on once I've connected it. So uh, watch this space. So basically what happened, uh, I tried to get the speedo healer working after plugging in uh, that loom and uh, it didn't work. 
no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. I circuit tested all the cables backwards and forwards. Um, there was power coming to the plug. It just didn't make sense. Um, I thought the Speedo healer itself was faulty, so the, the dealer sent me another one out. I tried that, it didn't work. Um, and today, after a lot of trial and error, I managed to figure out what the problem was. Um, and it is in fact the supplied harness that you get from Heeltech picks up the power from the bike um, within the loom that runs through the speedo sensor, uh, but there's not enough power coming through it. So you'll see in a second, uh, I'll go back into the video that I sent to Heeltech to explain what I'd done to fix the problem. Um, we'll go on from there. Thanks for watching. Um, well, the crux of the story is this. Um, using the SHH08 loom, and picking up power from this red cable is not sufficient power to power the speedo healer. This is only delivering 10.39 volts. Okay, speedo healer needs more than that. So while the plug is all correct, the speedo sensor wire is, is uh, pink, the earth wire is green, the power wire is green and white on both plugs. The green and white goes into the red cable here, okay? Um, and if I just turn the ignition on, um, and I touch my circuit tester onto here, it's only 10.38, 10.37, 10.38 volts. The speedo healer needs more voltage than that. So Heeltech need to redesign this to patch into another power source rather than using this lead here. So that's what I've done. I've taken this, I've split it so it still runs correctly. I've taken this lead, I've run it into another power source on the bike, which I'll connect properly in a bit. But if I now turn off the bike and I bring up the speedo healer, I'll turn on the uh, ignition. And now I've got my T for test. And when I put that down, lift the bike up, let's see if I can do it, and spin the wheel, I get my flashing T. Okay, so that's all working correctly, which means that Heeltech need to think of another way, make another loom, another, another loom for this particular bike model that picks up the power from elsewhere. And there are these two wires on the bike that are terminated but not used. And I tested them and this one provides 12 volts, actually 11.39 volts, okay? And that's the one that I'm gonna patch into this and I'm gonna connect it up all properly so that it all works correctly. I hope that makes sense, mate. Um, give me a call if you wanna discuss, cheers. Okay, so uh, after figuring that all out, I um, connected the wire um, from the bike to the live feed for the speedo here and of course it works perfectly um, I use the self soldering um, Links wire wire joiners uh, with a heat gun put some uh, shrink wrap around it taped it up and um, tidied all the cable in with cable ties um, and rooted the cable up underneath the seat um, I'll drop in now to show you how exactly uh, to program the speedo healer because uh, uh, I've got it working perfectly. All righty, here we go. Okay, so after all of that, um, I've now got my speedo healer installed on the bike. Um, all the cabling's parked away nice and tidy underneath here. Um, the panel's back on. The wire basically runs up here. Um, you can see I've got it wrapped with a cable tie under here and it just pops out and terminates here and this, this is the speedo healer. Um, so really easy, when, you, um, when you're testing the speedo healer, as you saw before, you press and hold the SEL button and turn on the ignition at the same time and what will come up on the ignition um, is what they say in the instructions as a value other than zero and, and it was 17 kilometers an hour that showed on mine. Um, you can let go of the button, um, spin the rear wheel and what you'll get is you'll get the flashing T, the test T, to let you know that it's all connected and working properly. Um, in fact, why don't I do that for you uh, live here? Let me, um, actually no, it's going to be quite difficult. 
Uh, no, that's right. I'll pull out. There's the ignition key. Um, I'll just pop the ignition key in. Um, I'm going to press and hold the. Let me see if I can balance my phone there and press the SEL button. I'm going to press and hold the SEL button. Turn on the ignition, and you'll see. Um, I've got a T. That stands for test mode. Um, and on my speedo, I've actually got uh, 17 kilometers an hour, a, a value other than zero is what they said. So now, if I was to lift up the bike, or just lean it up on the side stand and spin the rear wheel, you'll see that as I spin it, the, the T flashes. Um, and that indicates that it's getting a trigger from the speedo sensor. So at this point, um, you've got a successful installation. Now, turn the bike off again. To program the speedo healer, really um, easy. all you do is you turn on your ignition, oh, turn on your ignition, come to the speedo healer. What it's going to do, what it just did there is it confirmed the setting that I've got in mind, which is uh, minus 18.9%. Um, you can get the correct calculation off the Heeltech website. It's really easy to do. Um, to program the speedo healer is also really easy to do. So you press and hold both buttons. And when you press and hold both buttons, you'll get an L come up, uh, and then immediately, I don't know what the L stands for actually, um, and then immediately you'll get the minus flashing. If you want to change between minus and positive, most speedos run over, so you're, you're probably gonna use minus. Um, if you wanna change between minus and positive, you simply just press the set button, positive or minus, and to confirm that selection, you press SEL, select. So press that. Now that's going through, um, and it would ordinarily, if this was the first time you'd programmed your healer, it would be flashing zero here, but mine is flashing one. Um, if I wanted to change that value, I can do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. But I want one, and I want to confirm that. The next digit is the eight with the decimal point. And again, if I wanted to change that, I'd press the set button to set. I hit select, and my last digit is nine. So, um, and again, I'm gonna hit select. And that's it, that's done. So you're programmed, you're ready to go. Um, when you turn the bike on, the speedo healer will power up. It will show you minus 18.9, and that's your value, and it will always remember that. Um, you can actually program two sets of values in here. I haven't read up on how to do that, but um, you can. Um, and I can tell you that um, my Speedo um, at 60 kilometers an hour when I was uh, traveling along recording it via GPS, um, the Speedo on the bike was saying 74 kilometers an hour. I put those two values in the Heeltech calculator and it came up perfectly with 18.9 and I can tell you it's bang on. I've just ridden the bike up and down the road um, and um, now, you know, 30 kilometers an hour is 30 kilometers an hour on the speedo and the GPS. So really happy with that. You do have to mess around with the power cable, um, even though Hilltech at the moment say it's the correct lead, um, but it's worth doing. So um, thanks guys, I hope you find this really useful. Um, I'm sorry it goes on a little bit. Um, I wanted to explain the problems I had so that, you know, if you buy one, you know you're not doing something wrong. It's actually the bike that's not putting out enough voltage through that particular lead. Um, so, you know, happy riding. Enjoy your Grom. Um, tune in, subscribe, like, press the bell button, ding, ding, all hail the egg. Um, if you want more updates, I've got plenty of bikes, do plenty of updates, do lots of mountain biking too. Um, should be something interesting for you guys to watch. So thanks a lot. Happy Grom life.